You'll take a look at the camera and you'll give them your name, age, and where you're from. It's not going to be like last time. It's going to be worse. Uh, uh, my name is Joseph. I am still 32. Uh, no, actually, it's my birthday. It's the last time. Happy birthday. You know, you know, I'm 32 now, and I still live in Austin. Um, I, uh, now, I shouldn't be. The, why? Apparently, I can't afford it. Oh, and by the way, make sure you're subscribed as one of the first 50,000 subscribers here will win $1,000. Envious folks all in between. Oh, well, last time we talked about it, I remember I recommended quite a few career paths, including like, you know, working on your feet at like Panda Express, for example, with like a high $70,000 a year starting salary that they're desperately trying to recruit at like every place ever. But you didn't want to do that. You wanted to go to your new job at the airport. Are you still at the airport? Yes, but now... I don't know, Panda Express, that does sound kind of... Who pays a manager 70 k uh, People that are desperate to hire managers, and every single one of their branches are. Okay. They're probably going to work me 70 hours a week. That's the catch. Well, maybe. I don't know, but... Might be worth it. I've worked 70. I've worked 80 hours a week. So what I'm hearing is regret from not following the advice in the past episode for a career? Uh, How are you liking this airport can't, job? can't do it at a Panda Express. I would do it like... I have an old boss of mine that every time I message him, um, I'll just be like, hey, what's up? How have you been? Because I, he used to be my foreman. And like so he, since then, he's moved up. Like in the We, we did scaffolds. And uh, every time I just try to see how he's doing, he's like, hey, you want a job? And he offers me significantly more than I got last time. How much? Um, I think I was 13 and change when I first started with him. And then it was like 17, 17, 50. What's he offering now? Probably like I think everyone's making twenty two, twenty three. And what are you making at the airport right now? Sixteen fifty. Sixteen fifty. Doing what? Um, just a cashier. How many hours a week are you working? Fifty. So you're already working over the 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 forty hours a week that you would probably have at somewhere like Panda. Why fifty? Yeah, close enough to survive, or this is what they need. What's up? I'm greedy. I'm I'm on a greed arc, and then. That doesn't even count what I make from uh, doing side work, which is like two fifty, and that covers two fifty a month, a uh, week. Good. So, so assuming I'm I do that consistently, some. So I'm seeing about four thousand five hundred dollars then, mm-hmm. on a monthly basis before taxes. Taxes are taken out. Your side work this is, is that. This is just recently though. <laughs> is the side work uh, like contractor work? Are you paid? Yeah, 1099 stuff. Like Are you setting money Uber. aside for taxes, 30%? I should. You should because yes. it's going to hurt in just a few months. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. One thing I didn't disclose uh, last time. Um, sorry, Uncle Sam. I think I owe you like 15K. Still? Wait. Yeah. So you knew Still, that last I time, did, but you didn't do it? And then. I didn't remember until after the fact. Wait, okay. Okay. So speaking of last time. Has anything improved? What has changed? Besides apparently fifteen thousand dollars in uh, the income has improved. The everything else has de- <laughs> not. So did you not take advice that we talked about? Not official financial advice? Did you not take uh, it? Uh, I'm a man of my word. I did contact the financial advisor. Mm-hmm. Never met him. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, you promised me you would never take out a payday loan again. Have you taken out one since? I did not promise that. Did I promise you that? You did. You did. Don't tell me you did. Did you take out a payday loan since? I might have. How many? Just one. Joseph. And I think I defaulted. No. <laughs> Why, dude? Why? We talked about it, and then I thought we had a good plan. What happened? Uh, why did you take out a payday loan? Can you tell me why you took out a payday loan? Dude, I don't even remember. How long ago was it? Uh, months ago. Was it like right after our conversation? Because we didn't wait a full six months for this conversation. We talked, what, like three, four three months, months ago? Yeah, three uh, months ago. So A couple weeks after. A couple weeks after. A couple weeks after promising. Because I borrowed it, paid it back. Okay, that wasn't the... Buddy, man, I was rooting for you so much. So as I was telling you before, you're lovable. Everyone likes See. you. I <laughs> want you to do well. And then you're over there just killing yourself financially speaking. Well, to be fair, I, 
okay, this is not not in my defense, but um, because uh, you did like there I was one morning. It was just gonna be another chill day, and uh, I get a message from Caleb. It's like, hey, you want to do a follow up episode? And I was about to say, uh, hell no, uh, but thank you for checking in. Except I was like, mm, no, nah, I need this. I need this. I need to answer for my war crimes. <laughs> so <laughs> keep me on my toes. Yeah. <laughs> it, can you tell me why nothing changed? What in the mentality? Well, I did have a breakdown for a couple of weeks. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a mental health crisis. Not, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to play it up for sympathy, but I did. It was just. It was just a breakup. Like, well, oh, I was already. Nice. I was already broken up since like May, but I kept. I made several attempts to reconcile, and uh, uh, eventually, she just kind of deconfirmed it, uh, and uh, to put it. Publicly, um, and I spiraled for a couple of weeks, and uh, I just took money out of my savings, and mm. and then like after a few weeks, I just came to a realization that you know I am I'm giving someone all this power who's not even thinking about me anymore. Dude, a couple so, of weeks, you're better than many. You should have seen me after my first breakup. We're talking a couple months. Like, uh, I mean, but emotions are real. That is not something to be ashamed of, and I understand that. I wish it didn't impact you financially. I wish we could find ways around that. But um, in terms of, you're not playing it for sympathy. That is real. That's something you felt, and then, you know, it affected your life for a couple of weeks, and that's reasonable. Is that why you had to take out the payday loan? Because you just weren't getting money because of that, and then you had to take it out? Yeah, and then, like, I'm usually... It's a, I'll pay it back, and then I didn't. Um, and like, there are days when I was like, you know, I could have, like, I could have used this money. I had money in the account to pay, it and I didn't. I, Do you care about your financial future? Look, there was. Uh, I mean, if I said I do, you know, the audience would think I'm bull. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily. Some people just need more help than others. No, no, I don't want to place the blame or burden on anyone. I've um, <laughs> I've had I've struggled with addiction, Caleb. Uh, um, but I'm also participating in. No, not November this year. Call it bro science, but I've had a addiction since I was nine. Wow, since nine. And I figured, well, if I can, if I can take control, if I can control my urges for a month, or let's see how long it goes. If I can control these urges, then I can control the weather. And if I can control the weather, then maybe I can control my spending habits, and my diligence, my uh, just my discipline to just work more. And that's what I've. Caleb, I really needed you, man. Uh, because I was like, it was November fifth, I believe you messaged me. I look back and. He's like, hey, you want to do a follow-up? So it says, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I am $700 behind on my car. I am negative $300 in my other bank account. I've defaulted on a payday loan. And uh, I owe rent. So it's like, I'm not going to be able to cover all of this. Um, I found a way. I didn't cover the loan, but, you know. $700, I covered what I was behind on my car. I mean, $15 went to the actual principal, but that's okay. Um, I, um, 
sold I, I made some gains on Dogecoin, and then I sold that and paid the uh, the negative uh, bank account balance because that would have gone on my credit. It was the last day I could have paid that balance before it, I guess, would have defaulted. I guess you could say. Um, and I paid rent, so it's like I went from the nine hundred I made that week. I might have gotten a bonus because usually I get like five or six hundred, or we got a raise. And I just, I guess I scraped up seventeen hundred this week, so I can like say, "Hey, I'm, I'm on an arc. You, I'm on a redemption arc, you guys." How'd you scrape that money up? Um, I worked. Well, I worked overtime. Um, actually, no, it's crazy because I worked forty hours, like forty-two, and I have like nine hundred, and I was like, usually, I get five hundred. That's weird. Five, six hundred around there. I was like, all right, I'll take it. And then, <laughs> um, what was it? I worked um, some side gig for a couple, like, 300 bucks. And then, uh, well, I sold my crypto for, like, 400 bucks. So, mm. and then, like, even after that, I just worked a bit more. Okay, and I <laughs> I took out a loan from Earnin. So it was just $100, but I had to cover the my bank balance before it defaulted. For the addiction, have you seen anyone? Have you talked to anyone? No. Okay. I will say, the I'm obsessed with everything personal finance. I can speak educated on that when it comes to mental health type stuff and addiction type stuff. That is certainly not where I am anywhere close to qualified. The only thing that I do know is that getting help is number one and being surrounded by people who, you know, care is very important. But seeing someone, especially in this country, yeah. it's expensive. What is your health insurance situation at 32 years old? Uh, not applicable. You know, I still have yet to apply for health insurance. And the whole reason I got this job was for the health insurance. I remember. And, uh, yeah. So you, I'll apply, like, right getting out of here. You really should. And, I'm <laughs> and the thing is, it's probably not going to be fantastic. But whatever we can do, and then there are, there are programs in the Austin area for lower income. Unfortunately, yeah, pretty... I mean, you actually make okay money now. I don't know. I don't know how much you'll qualify for. The money just kind of always just seems to leave. But uh, if there are programs that might be able to help, that might... It might be worth sex addiction very incredibly real and incredibly challenging. Addiction is one of the fastest well, growing addictions. It it doesn't well, at least it doesn't well. Yeah, the thing about um what the kids call corn addiction is that it's a uh, well it's it's not like you're blowing money on beer or uh, marijuana right. or what have you, but it's there's still an opportunity cost there because you know Kids beat off all day, and you could, you could spend that time like working, or you know, doing something that's. Do you find your life fulfilling. revolves around it on a day to day basis? I'm sorry. Do you find that your life revolves around it on a day to day basis? I've been two weeks clean, so I don't. But I. But like before that, since nine. I've. Uh, since nine. Oh, you, since nine. Yeah. I think about. It's crazy how I've regressed a little bit because I think about, you know, before and before relationships, what did I do that made me happy? What did I do when I was eight? It's like I just watch cartoons and play video games. And so I've done, I did a little bit of that today. Like I played, I played some Xbox this morning and it felt nice. Uh, mm. But, you know, at the same time, I'm an adult and I looked around and was like, I have a messy room. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I turned that around. I gave that a makeover. Good. And, like, yeah, it feels better to play in there, you know. I'm not tripping over shit. Yeah. Um, well, it's good for the mind. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like I can play in peace, but it's like I don't do that. That's like a once a week thing. Okay. You know, to reward myself. And then I'll have, I'll play some Xbox and I'll have a beer. And that's like one beer is enough, like a 24 ounce, knock me out. That's all I need. And if I need more than that, I'm worried because then I'm like, you know, building tolerance. Well, let's not replace an addiction with an addiction. Yeah. yeah. A couple things. Uh, so, yes, we talked about the insurance and that might be 
an expensive way to get one-on-one help. There are group. There's like the AA for that. I don't mm. remember what it's called. Might be something worth considering. People have a really hard time getting over the hump of going to that for the first time, but that might actually be something. And there is opportunity cost there, of course. Could be working, but for the long-term opportunity costs yeah, of your life. If all you do yeah. is work, it's just going to break down. So yeah. Like, um, exactly. And number two, yes, it is not as expensive as being like an alcoholic or addicted to a drug of some kind, but I did see OnlyFans payments in your checking account. So if that becomes a part of it, that can become an, a- an expensive aspect. Who got a hold of my account? <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. I, yeah. That was October, though. <laughs> yes, that, that's happy, the statement we're looking at. Yeah. I'm happy to report that as of November, <laughs> um, there will be no. <laughs> OnlyFans payments or otherwise to look. Okay, I was a degenerate coomer. All right, now I'm just I've upgraded to just degenerate. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> so okay, uh, I uh, uh, let's regroup a little. I think uh, again, I'm not qualified to talk on that, um, and even my financial advice is not official financial advice. But that's. I think my thoughts behind that is I wish I could be more helpful on that. Seeing someone or going to the group, I think, would be really helpful. And then also, ooh, I know that has to. Oh, I would have a hard time admitting that to people. But if you could to the people that surround you and support you, that might be helpful. You know, Caleb, I, I sit down sometimes and I think about I actually have a lot of friends, you know. So, like. And I'm fortunate because a lot of people, they don't have anyone to talk to but myself. It's Mm -hmm. just, I have so many people I can talk to. Yeah, you're lovable. I wouldn't be surprised if your friend group was huge. Well, they're not. The thing about all of my friends is they don't know each other. I just like come out of them all from different walks of life. But like, I'll just call them randomly and be like, hey, you haven't talked to me in two months. What's up? And it's like, Mm -hmm. oh, no, just making, seeing if you're alive. Sure. I'm like, hey, can I vent to you? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good, though. I'm glad you have those people. That's really yeah. important. Yeah, see and if this is still your number. <laughs> so the car thing was something that was just getting started last time, right? Yeah. What does the car remind me, year and make? Uh, 2012 Honda Accord. And it's a $700 a month payment? No, uh, that's how far I fell behind. And what's it's, the monthly payment? Uh. 500, 550, something like that. so crazy for 2020. Yeah, but it's going to last forever. What is the loan length? Uh, Four years. Not terrible. Not the worst we've seen. Uh, What is the interest? Uh, It's still 23.5. Well, okay, okay, okay. I'll quit quit bullshit. It's it's a six-year term, but I'm going to cut it down to like... Two or three. How? You're going to refinance? No. I'm I was going to say, because you're defaulting on stuff. So. I'm going to pay $50 a day on it. How? There's negative money in your checking account at the time of the statement that we're going to look at. Yeah, at the time of the statement. Well, again, in order to get the most well-rounded picture of what a month looks like, we look at a singular statement. So, Well, with making 250 a week, that's just coming from my side hustle, okay? I've been more diligent these days because I'm... An ex addict. So, I spend more time working. Oh, you have a payday loan on a car loan. Well, that, that payday loan is no longer accruing into interest. Oh, you have a payday loan of a car loan, is what I mean. You have a predatory oh, yeah. car loan. They bullied you so freaking hard, and you didn't do what I recommended of uh, not getting this car or getting rid of this car and stuff like that. I'm sorry, Caleb, that car is going to hell with me. We are in three follow-up episodes. Zero of the three have followed anything that I've said. So, <laughs> ouch. Fourth is, the tar- fourth is the charm, ladies and gentlemen. So, okay, let's get a picture of where the finances look today. We're going to look at the October statement. Because that's where everything, everything we got a full 30-day thing there, so that's perfect. Okay. Now, we started with 418. Oh, I'm a little spooky. That's a low amount. I don't like that. 418? Mm-hmm. Okay. 3,484 came in. Great compared to last time. 
in terms of money coming in. But 4052 came out with a negative balance of $148. Oh, that negative balance. I forgot how it got there. Probably because you spent more than you brought in. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Now, I don't this, even remember. this is oh, a very yeah. disappointing thing that hasn't changed. I wish that, what's, the, what's the balance on that car? We should get that out of the way as well. Uh, 19K. Let's be. Let's make one thing crystal clear. Okay. The airport is supposed to pay you. Correct. Yes. What is FNB? Airport FNB. Or retail. Oh yeah. Uh, I buy snacks sometimes. Yeah, you do here for eight seventy seven. You do here for three forty five, five nineteen. And then let's just go through the whole thing as there was a lot of stuff as well. You, with these bad things as also not paying off the payday loan, so going to Jack in the Box, going to a store, getting those Glizzies, store, 7-Eleven, store, Wendy's, 7-Eleven, Wendy's, the Austin Airport, again, they're supposed to be paying you, YouTube Premium, McDonald's, the Austin Airport, Austin Airport, taking out 123 for an ATM, who knows where that went. And then Austin Airport, they're supposed to be paying you. Store, store. Store is... Transferring to a piggy bank. I would not be doing that when you have negative in a checking account. Burger King, Bridgecrest. That's retail. actually the... Yeah. What's that? And then those 350 what's Bridgecrest? Crest? That's the, the auto loan. Okay. And a Microsoft subscription of some kind. Maybe it was a game. Um, the store, the store... Red Lobster store. Oh yeah. Market. People that looker was, dot com. That was a that was a birthday. You were looking someone up, people looker dot com. Yeah, full disclosure, yes. Okay. Venmoing out fifty dollars. Austin Airport. Uber. You have this very expensive car yet. You Uber Circle K, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Uh, CMTA, Onion Creek Ballroom, Airport, Airport, Store, CMTA, uh, ATM, withdrawal of 43. We have no idea where that went. Austin Airport, Airport, withdrawal from the ATM of 323. We don't know where that went. Uh, BinVerified.com, I don't know what that is, $28. Ubering again, Ubering, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, Austin Airport. 7-Eleven, one taco, something on South... Oh, it was an ATM, withdrawal of 383. We don't know where that went. CMTA, Whataburger, store. Probably rent. McDonald's, okay, store. Gold's Gym, I support that one, good. Gold's Gym, good. Taking care of health, good. Jack in the Box, don't support that one. Metropolis something, McDonald's, Austin Airport, Austin Airport, which were off from the ATM, 122. We don't know where that went. Raisin Cane's, purchased from the store. There's the only thing. I haven't up. gone to... Bridgecrest uh, again, and then the Austin Airport, and then the store. Dude. The store is McDonald's, by the way. That's like when you order on the app, and it's, yeah. That was a lot of Mickey D's. You know... I only Ubered. Fun fact, you would not have to take out a payday loan if you weren't eating out like twice a day almost. If you would not not be able to pay back a payday loan if you weren't these this that's the most amount of check marks I've made in forever next to things. And this is just pages of blue ink of just circled I look crap. like crap. I look like that kid in school who like took a test and got all his answers wrong. Dude. Why do you do this? Do you think, okay, we're, we've been on the topic of addiction. Do you have a, like, eating out type addiction? Like, every meal you're getting is a snack from the airport or going to McDonald's or any other restaurant. You're just spending so much money. It's endless. Well, I have been on a, of course, it doesn't reflect in this statement. We'll see in February, verify if I'm lying or not. Um, the airport does cover my lunch. I just been so this is on top of that, on top of a lunch that's already covered. Yeah. So I've only been sticking to what the union covers, and I'm not spending anything else outside of that. 
They cover that? As often. Everything in there has been covered? No. Oh, so you, you mean this past recently? You haven't been yes, spending as much going on. in November, yeah. I wanted no one. I wanted n- you to do better than anyone. There was no one I was rooting for more than you. Sorry, the spending Dad. Spending is so bad. It's okay, son. My gosh, what are we doing? And then, what's the point? Three bed. What's a three bed? Yeah, I was. Um, I had plans for that, and I just changed it to apartment. I'm okay with the studio at this point. Three hundred in, three yeah. hundred out. Yeah. What's the point? Doesn't even make sense. Is that your rent? Three hundred? No. What's your rent? It's six hundred, but it's gonna double. So. Oh. I figured if I could. What do you mean it's gonna double? When? How? Why? No, I meant like when I move out. Why are you moving out? You can't afford to move out. By my next birthday, I will be in a new apartment. Why? Well, 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 why? Okay, so in your twenties, if you live with your parents, fine. But if you're in your thirties and there are roommates, parents, fine. In your twenties, but in your thirties, if you're still not on your own, you f- up somewhere. Who cares about social standards? And yes, you did f- up somewhere. But because of that, you have to live in your own make. Essentially, this is the make that you did make. Yeah, and. It's just you can't afford that. You can't afford that. Stay there as long as you can until we get this car taken care of because that's a predatory car until we there's other things. There's so much more to talk about. Okay, okay. buddy. What? What? A, what? A, I'm, I'm 32 with roommates, but I don't want to be 33 with roommates. It's okay. It's okay if you're if you're taking the steps to better your life. If you're if you're just doing that and you're being a lazy piece of which. I do not mean as an insult to you. As soon as it came out, I was like, "Wow, don't take that as an attack." I love you. You know I love you. D- that if but if you're if you're being a very lazy person, just not doing anything to better yourself, then yes, that is bad. If you're doing things that we talk about and have talked about to better yourself, it is okay having roommates. In fact, encouraged in this situation. What is what is standby? I don't know why I. That wasn't even necessary. No, it's not because there's like a scent in there. Yeah. What is there's another? What's the piggy? Oh, that was just like an emergency savings. I should just have just an emergency, just just savings. Just focus on that. We do need you to get an emergency fund at some point, but it doesn't make sense. I mean, a hundred in, hundred out. What was the point? This wasn't an emergency. It was just it's immediately gone. Yeah, I had no follow through there. Full disclosure. You have no what? I had no follow through there. Full disclosure. Do you still have Credit Karma downloaded? Credit Karma. Yeah. Uh, nice try. My phone's dead. No, we need to look at it. Can we plug it in? <sighs> I need my phone. And we can reset. Can we plug? No, it's actually alive. Oh, you naughty, naughty. I'm just embarrassed. Let's take a little look. Caleb, you don't want these heart problems. Trust me, I got my issues. You masochist. Okay. Yeah, so refinancing certainly is not in the picture for, um, I don't know how to uh, increase. I was going to incre- increase screen brightness because I'm blind. But Android, haven't used it in forever. Okay. 551. 536. Equifax. Even worse. So certainly no refinancing in the future. That's why I got a predatory loan. Interesting from in the last three months when we talked, it actually increased, but now it's on the way back down again, likely because of that. The car. Likely because and of the payday loan. Yeah. It defaulted. Derogatory, derogatory marks, it's because you applied for things. So, or sorry, uh, the hard inquiries is because you applied for things. And then the derogatory marks, I'm having trouble saying that word, collections, CCS, only a hundred and seventy four dollars. Hey, I was paying I was paying on that for a while and then I stopped. And then add Astro Recovery. So yeah, and the twenty twenty two, one thirty one. So balances have been going down, but then I stopped again. I just had a meltdown somewhere. Credit card usage ninety six percent. Didn't we we took care of a credit card last time? Well Capital we took one. care of a payday loan, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Paid it Capital One. What is this? That's been there, hasn't it? So 
So you. Oh yeah, that's. That's uh, <laughs> my mom's. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Well, yeah, because. Uh, <laughs> No, 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 you're going to have to describe this. What do you mean this is your mom's? It's on your credit. Well, yeah, but the idea at the time was she said, well, she pays off her stuff consistently. I was like, okay, fine. So I'll just attach my name to your card. And then by proxy, my credit will, imp- will improve. And then, well, you know, it happens. And yeah. But oh, my God. Goodness. Be that as it may, I'm still responsible for that balance because I did put my name with that. But she has her name too, though. Yeah. Okay. You're, is she not paying on it? Clearly not. Uh, $3,470 out of $3,601. Is she making at least minimum monthly payments on that crap? What? Huh? $3,000. $3,470 is owed with a $3,601 limit. Oh. It's maxed out 96%. Yeah, I got a 19k car. What's another 3,000? Is she paying on this? Uh, I'll ask. You know, it's interesting because she saw the last episode and she rage quit. <laughs> Buddy. So what we're seeing um for the audience is uh here I was. Bridgecrest sh- credit. What do you do? You... Oh right. no. No, what you told me is correct, sorry. Okay. And your collections is $289 and $174, right? Yes. You know, I could, with all the overtime I made last week, I could take care of both of those. Wait. Yes, and my car payment. If for the entire month of December, we, you stick to a budget that we make, and we, we'll do this by the end of the episode... I will pay those two collections for you. If you stick strictly to a budget that we make and you go to a group meeting with proof that you've been to the group meeting, I will pay those two things in collections for you. You know, while I could do a whole pride bit and say, no, I'm good, it's free money. So It is. It's it's an offer. But you have to, but with proof for the full month of December, so January 1st, I get proof and I will do that for you. Okay. Challenge accepted. That credit card, you need to have a very serious conversation with your mom because that's dangerous. That's bad. Who knows if she's defaulting on Who knows? That's scary. Uh, How much money do you have right now? On In my name? Let me see. Actually, I got paid today. Uh, yeah, so $60... Yeah, hundred dollars. Okay, so what's clear is we need to create a strict budget, and I want to see you follow that budget for a full month, starting getting accustomed to it. Proof that you can follow the budget, and then hopefully you, with that demonstration of you being able to do it, that you follow it going forward to better your future. Okay. Yes, Dad. Okay. You bring in, what was it, $4,500 a month, but then taxes. You're not even setting money aside for taxes. Okay. Okay. Of let's say, let's say it's a modest 700 And you, you're going to create another bucket in here, or just resume, or just take one of the buckets that you already have in here and change the name of it. The, the, the different side accounts within this account. Mm-hmm. You're going to label it taxes. Okay. This is money that you do not touch. For the, what was that, $450 that comes in a month? Was, was that it? That, that extra money? Is that like, what you said? Like 1000 roughly. Oh, 1000 mm-hmm. For that, you're taking 30% of it automatically, $300. Every time, 30% of each pay that you get will go into taxes. You just forget it exists. We need to start doing this now. Copy. Copy. Into a bad situation. Oh, crap. You owe $15,000 to the IRS. Well, it's not in your collection. Have they been hounding you for it? No. How do you? How old there is was, it? Well, I have family who works for the uh, for Uncle Sam, and they tell me, like, no, it's not. they're not going to come for your door or anything. But, yeah, you still should probably pay that off. Okay. So I can, this way I can at least 
stop them from uh, <laughs> hounding me further. Cars five hundred twelve a month, or, or, or at least put a put a bandage on the bleeding. I'm sorry. Cars five hundred twelve a month, right? Uh, what you said? Car payment. Do, do, do. Uh, five twenty four. Five twenty four goes to car. Six hundred goes to rent. Yes. How much goes to gas on average? A uh, hundred a week, so roughly let's go with four hundred yeah. a month. Okay. That's if I really, you know, do my side hustle consistently. That's like a that's like a a top. And you have like renters insurance and car insurance as well. Uh, <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny. Get those. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. You kind of blow my mind. <laughs> Wild. Okay. 524 dollars in required payments. Uh-huh. Required payments. Now, after taxes, including the money that you're setting aside, because that's going to be automatic, of the four thousand five hundred dollars that comes in on a monthly basis, we're going to say you actually have. $3,150 is what you actually have. That's what you get to play with. That's where our budget starts. $3,150. Now we automatically minus $1,524 for what is required for you to keep your car, which I don't know what that car's worth. It's, the it's, car market's crashing right now. I don't think you'd be able to get out of it. I think you're almost going to be forced to keep this. It's such a bad situation. It's okay. It's going to hell with me. Six years. Four years. Six years. Four years was a lie, right? No, four years, I'll have it paid off. Oh, okay. <laughs> One thousand... $626 is left. Okay? Mm-hmm. Do you cook at all? You know, most days, what I'll do is I'll take, I'll pack cashews, and I'll take a grapefruit with me to work. And, uh... But they have, they cater lunch, or they cover and lunch. And they bring lunch, yeah. And you still go to the snack whatever once a day. Yeah, they, but it's my days off, and I'll just kind of eat... <laughs> Junk or go to restaurants. You know, though I don't encourage junk food and all this crap, I don't even care what you buy. If you buy just what makes you happy for the first couple months, again, I would do healthy food, but whatever. We are going to set you at a 400, which is good. This is generous. $400 a month grocery budget. Okay, $400 groceries. And you'll only see like, Payments from like HEB or Walmart. Yes. Let's say just HEB. Only HEB because Walmart f- could be anything. Walmart, I could buy an Xbox controller. Yeah, you're exactly. right. Exactly. It will be just HEB. And to be to be fully transparent, I will take a photo of the receipts. $1,226 is left. Okay. You are going to get apartment insurance and car insurance. You're going to do that. I, I need you to do this. Wait. Apartment insurance? Renter's insurance. Renter's That's insurance. cheap. Car insurance could be expensive, especially with your credit score and whatever else. Who knows? What's, what's renter's insurance like? Just, you're, just search renter's insurance. You need it? Trust me. Uh, okay. Most places require it. Well, what's the average car insurance payment in the United States? It's at 136 a month. 136 a month. I'm going to say you're at about 150. Let's combine them both. $160 a month is gone because your car insurance is probably going to be a little more expensive. Now we have a thousand dollars to play with. Okay. Everything that is required to keep you alive. Also, you should sign up for health insurance, by the way. Yes. Is that through work? No. So through like I the have not exchanges? Signed, I have not signed up through for that yet. But is it through work when you sign up? Yes. Is what I'm asking. Okay. Yeah, it'll be taken do out. Do you know what the Yes, do you know how much? No. Because I I, I have nothing on, to go off of it. Could, I plan on going. It could off be fifty dollars. It could be five hundred dollars. Plan on. I'm plan on going off the gold plan. So no. none, none of that. Sh- that when you need them, they don't cover you. You know what I mean. So let's say two hundred. Okay. Sign up for that as that's, well. That's a good guess. I want you to sign up for that, and then I want you to. Uh, 
potentially see someone. We're going to start with the group thing, though. Go to okay. the group thing at least twice next uh, in December. Twice in December. And just show that you have. Roger okay. that. So $800 is what's left after all payments are done. I am going to Dave Ramsey the heck out of this one. Normally, $1,000 is not enough to have an emergency fund. But what you're going to do for that $800, you're going to put that in a side account outside of this bank. You're just going to open up like an ally savings or something. I don't care who it's with, but I do not want it attached. I don't want you to ever think about it existing. You're going to take that. You're going to put it in there. Okay? Uh It sits there. Then, boom, that month is done. What you should do going forward, you should put an extra $200 in there from the year $800. And then every single cent, because this car is a complete disaster, and I don't think you can sell it and recruit it. I, I don't think this, this is going to be a mess of a situation. Every single cent from that $800, once you have $1,000 sitting in that other account, is going to go right to this car, and you are going to pay it off as quick as possible, and you are going to work every side hustle possible. That extra $1,000 a month becomes an extra $2,000 a month. You sure you don't want me to keep at least 500 in case something happens to that car? What? No, you're keeping $1,000. Remember? Keeping 1000 What do you mean? In that other account. In that extra account outside of this bank. Remember? Oh. $800 next month. The remaining $800 outside of our budget goes to just putting towards in that savings and then the next month in January so that's, put the emer- $200. that's the emergency yes okay and then everything after that goes towards the car so you're gonna have a thousand dollars in their total so starting in January from the eight hundred dollars two hundred is gonna go to capping off the a thousand dollars okay right does that make sense so, so six hundred thousand then the rest and then six hundred of, of the okay. eight hundred remaining will go to car Copy. then eight hundred dollars every month even more because you're gonna work more and more and more see what I heard last time what I heard the first time was that that thousand dollars is gonna go straight to the car and and then pay 200 after like why not just do 200 whatever. either way um the situation has changed the car market has changed last time i probably told you not to do it or sell it so it has changed now i don't know the worth of this car i highly doubt a 2012 uh honda whatever is worth twenty thousand dollars. what you could do here is this but you can't borrow the money so it doesn't even make sense yeah we went over that i was i was gonna say maybe <laughs> You could sell it, borrow what's remaining on it, and then bust to work and all this crap. But I, I don't think you can even do that. It'll be 200K, and it'll flip to 200K miles, and it'll flip for like 50K because, you know, there's like 800K miles left on it. And guess what? No more payday loans. Please. Yeah, I think I ran out of guys who will give me payday loans anyway, so. <sighs> I'm sure there's always more. And no more applying the $100 loan that you did. Even whatever that is, no more. What happens is you've clearly been stuck in an endless cycle of just horrible debts, and it's very hard to get out of. The only way to get out of it is no longer going into it and paying this crap off now. Copy. Yeah. So that's the budget. We'll go over to it again. Text me whenever you need. But that is what you will do, and I will pay off those two things in collections, and then you also go to the addiction group at least twice next month. Copy. And I'll pay it happily because I want you to do well. If I want anyone to do well, I want you to do I want everyone to do well, but please be a success story when we follow up next time. We'll follow up in, like, end of winter, early spring. And it's, it's, a, it's a hell of a season two, boys. Is there, is there anything else? What am I hiding? Nothing I can think of right now. The $15,000 in IRS debt. So I don't even know. They're not hounding you if it's not in collections. If it's, I don't know. I think once you get this car paid off, I mean, IRS typically takes priority, Mm. but will you be audited? The likely chance is no. There's a lot of things. Yeah, because I'm not, they got, they got bigger fish to catch, I assume. I the mean, calculated risk that I would take if I if I was doing this, if I was specifically doing this, I'd pay the car off as quick as possible, and then try to pay that fifteen thousand dollars off. It might be smarter to go the other way. That, that's where I don't know. IRS is not someone that I mess around with, but just where we're sitting with the, what we've heard and everything with your situation, I think the car makes more sense for us. And then talk to your freaking mom about this credit card. Be like, yo, mom, this is not acceptable. Love you, mom. And uh, yeah, if you want to be on the show, let me know. Shout, shout out to my cousin; it's his birthday. Um, I'm about to go see you. Uh, I might miss dinner, but yeah, 
It, this is content right here. Well, so. let's wrap this thing up so you can go get some <laughs> noms. I'm hungry too. Any final thoughts? Um, no, I, I just wasn't prepared for this. Uh, so, no, nah, that's about it. I just wanted to give the shout out. Yeah. For Joseph's Hammer Financial Score. Whew. All right. <laughs> I love this dude. He's great. I really wish him the best. Nothing has changed, and that hurts. Continuing to take out payday loans. Negative money in the checking account at the time of looking at it. No savings. It is this, it's this rough. And then things in collections and co-signing for a credit card that his mom has now maxed out. And that credit score being in the 500s. Like, I'm, it's so bad. I really hope he follows the plan I laid out. And I am helping with communicating with him. And he has my number. He can text me whenever. So he can do this. And then also goes to those group meetings at least twice within the month of December. And I will take care of that money that's in collections. Of course, that relies on me Venmoing him, and then he actually has to put it towards it. But I'll I'll make sure he does. Either way, it's a that's a it's a very very bad score. There is not much going for his finances right now. Unfortunately, as rude as that might sound, the only thing that has improved is his pay has increased. But he just increased his McDonald's spending and everything on top of that. So, Hammer financial score of two out of ten. I really want that to increase, but that is certainly one of the worst we've had here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter for some behind-the-scenes stuff and to interact with me on a daily basis. And feel free to share this video with someone who you think might enjoy it as it really helps this channel grow. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks.